Good morning yet again. What I want to do today is I want to look at um, the images formed in a converging lens. So we're going to look at these images in a converging lens. So just bear with me to get this yoke working. L X C P a lens which is convex is just let me change the thickness of the pen is converging and you don't need to know the focal length is positive so we're talking about this type of lens here it's that shape of lens and we draw it in the lens diagrams like that right and there are only three rays that we need to know now i've never used this before so we'll try it again we're going to draw the lens and we're going to draw the three rays through it and then maybe on the other side of the page i will try to draw the lens diagrams so there's my lens you can see the top and bottom it's a convex lens because it's going to be the same as that so that's a convex lens now there's a thing called the principal axis and the principal axis is, hello, on now, where we're flying now. Well, maybe we're not. There is the principal axis. And this principal axis has, it's an imaginary line, but it goes through the center of the lens. There's C for center. And remember that light can come in this way through a lens or it can come this way through a lens. Unlike a mirror, light can't go through a mirror, but it can go through a lens. So there's a place called the focal point that's very important in these lenses. So we're just gonna put a, we'll call it F for focal point. And because light can go through both sides of it, we have F on both sides. And there are only three rays that we need to know from this. And we'll take the first one is a ray, through the center so we'll see can i draw again yes not too bad a ray through the center is undeviated now what does that mean it doesn't bend so there's the first ray there so we'll, we'll label that one right number one a ray through the center of the lens is undeviated now the next one is number two a ray parallel to the principal axis. No, going on a wee minute. Here we are now. We're sucking diesel. Is refracted through the focal point F. So there's r ray number two. See where I'm labeling. So a ray parallel. There's your principal axis. There, look. See the blue dot. There's the principal axis, and there's a ray parallel to that, and it's refracted down through F. And the last ray that we need to know is the sort of the inverse of this one. Remember I said that light can go in this side and down, or it can come this side and down. So a ray, a ray, uh, let's see, how do I want to explain this? A ray through F. A ray through F. So we'll do it this way here. Right, there's it there. A ray through F. It comes out parallel. It comes out parallel. And that's the third ray. One, two, three. So we'll go over those rays again for you. So, bear with me, the machine's a bit slower than I am. It's a lens, it's a convex lens that we're doing. It's known as a converging lens because it brings parallel rays to a point. You don't worry about that. That's the shape of the lens and that's how you draw it on a lens diagram. You remember the wee arrows on the top. So here we have, let's see, can I get back down here to the middle of this? Too far. Right, what I'll do. A ray through the center of the lens. Now this is the principal axis, and where the principal axis meets the lens is the center of the lens. 
And if you draw, or if you shine or draw a ray down through the center, it is undeviated. It's not bent, it's straight. That's ray, ray number one. Ray number two is a ray parallel to principal axis. There's the principal axis. And there's the ray parallel to the principal axis. See the way they're parallel, equidistant, same distance apart. So it comes along like that and is refracted down through F. So the ray comes in and parallel down through F. See that? In parallel down through F. The next one that we have is a ray up through F comes out parallel. See my line missing there. Oh, so you can draw that line in again. There we are. And those are the three rays that you need for a convex converging lens. It's the same thing. And this is the only one that you need to draw. Fair enough. So those are the three rays. Now you'll find that on page 446. Four, four, six. That's where you'll find that. It even gives you the tip there, the principal axis and all, but there's the three rays that you need to know. That's what you need to know. What's on that there. Now, I'm going to attempt to draw ray diagrams. And this should be quite fun. Right? Now, we just want to talk about, there's only really one that's really important, and that's the magnifying glass. Right now, a magnifying glass is a strange item in that it was invented. Well, you can't say it was invented by Robert Hooke, it was developed by Robert Hooke, the same man of Hooke's Law, and uh, he used it as a microscope. So, I'm going to try to draw. I've never done this before with this pen and this paper and stuff. So, I'm going to try to draw what. A microscope would, or what a magnifying glass or a microscope, simple microscope. So there's my lens, right? Just want to check that, it's, right? There's the lens. It's a converging lens. Look at the shape of the arrows, right? Now there's the center of the lens, and now I'm going to put in. Two focal points. Now remember there are focal points on either side because light can go either way. And I'm going to put an object. Now the simplest object that we ever use. What in the name of Jesus is that? How long do I see? Can I rub that out? There is the rubber. Come on. I'll leave it. I'm not too sure how to rub that out yet. Right, I'm going to put an object here and here anyway. An object is usually an arrowhead. There's the bottom of the object and the tip of the object up there. So the first array I'm going to draw is this one here. Array through the center is undeviated. So again, where did we get that? Well, let's get back over here. There's it there. Do you see it? Look. A ray through the center is undeviated. Go back up here. A ray through the center is undeviated. And it appears. Now, notice that I draw it as a dotted line. See me? Yeah. Right. There's my dotted line. Right, so that's where that appears to come. Now, the next one is a ray parallel to the principal axis. There's parallel to the principal axis, goes down through F. So, where's it there? Down through F. So, what's that ray? What's ray number two? 
So where does it appear to come from? Let's have a look. And try the dotted line here. This is exciting. And where the two cross, where the two dotted lines cross, that's where your image is. So the image, and because it's There's where your image is. Notice that these two rays here, that ray and that ray are diverging away. So they appear to meet up here. So this is your magnifying glass because the object, there's your object, is between the focal point and the center of the lens. The object Please move little blue dot. The object is between the focal point and the center of the lens. When these rays come down here, look, they are diverging. They're spreading out, but they appear to come from this point here. You see that, look? They appear to come from that. So the image appears here. So let's have a look at the properties of the image. So we'll just write it in the word object there. And here's the image. And let's look at the image. It's virtual. You couldn't put it on a screen because they don't really exist. A bit like the Tooth Fairy and Santa. Maybe too much detail. It's virtual. It's enlarged. What does that mean? That's bigger than that. So that's why you use them the magnifying glass in the first place. It's beyond F. Where is it? Well, it's beyond F. Look, there's F and it's beyond it. And it's the same way around. In other words, there's the top there and there's the bottom and there's the principal axis. There's the top there, there's the bottom and there's the principal axis. You get the general gist. So that's your magnifying glass, right? Now, the rest of them are all quite similar. I suppose I could draw in the BDA here. I wonder can I get the BDA drew in there? There's BDA. There's BDA looking at the image. So there's you, there's what you're looking at, and that's how it appears. And that's how a magnifying glass works. Fair enough. Now, the other one on page, so I'll write this down for you, page 448. Again, 